Hello and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Assumingly I can't go anywhere except for the museum. Good day, sir. Thank you, my friend. Oh, dinosaurs! Unlocking the secret of ancient life! I hear cameras. That can only be good. The hell was the point of coming in here? Wait a minute, what? Oh, upstairs, okay. Bella Morte, the last round. Hmm. Sorry. What's <laughs> up? Damn funny, you scared the crap out of the cleaning crew. Now, would you put the damn raptor back in its exhibit? Oh, don't leave your keys lying around. Hi, Mr. Raptor. Hello. Museum office keys. What a fascinating museum. Alright, rooftop access. Where am I here? Don't worry about it. Well, assumingly, I've just gone in a circle. So it would seem. Alright, so let's see here. Way down's probably over there. Yeah, loud bitch. Gabe. Uh, one. Just a reminder, Dr. Anders Johansson, aka the sarcophagus guy, will be working at the museum for the next few days. Show him all the professional courtesy we show all of our guests. Statue on Daryl's workstation is creeping me out. I was working late the other night and I swear I thought I saw it move. This isn't another gag, is it? If it is, I don't think it's funny. Workstation. Cool. Um, Q. 
fails. No. That's fine. Okay, so I've got the basement keys. That's the front door. Assumingly the key to the basement. An actual door, apparently. Not a door I can actually open, of course not. Jan found them buried in the sofa downstairs, turned them into the lost and found. Stop leaving your damn keys all over the place or else next time I'm demanding a finder's fee. Fair enough. I still haven't found my fetish.
All right. Hello. That's not a sarcophagus. I can't understand why someone Beckett. would go through the trouble of stealing a box with a very ancient corpse. This city's not that dull. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Beckett's! Why am I clapping? I'm an archaeologist, so I thought I'd indulge in a quick study of this Ankaran sarcophagus everyone's so riled up about. My guess? From what I've read about it, is that it's a mummified Mesopotamian king. I needed confirmation. Mm, did you stare at the box? Sometimes I stare at things for hours. Oh, oh, I really wish I had. All this speculation about the sarcophagus containing an antediluvian and being a portent of Gehenna is making me cringe. These are the kinds of ridiculous, superstitious assumptions I came here to debunk. The G word makes my thoughts frightened. frightened. What is it? Armageddon, Doomsday, the end of all kindred. It's a common facet of most mythologies. Fear that the world will end. Many believe Cain and the antediluvians will return to consume or destroy all kindred. I wholeheartedly disagree. Hmm. The Dark Father? Where? Cain, who I assume you mean, is the biblical first kindred and founder of the mythological first city, Enoch. A place where kindred and kind coexisted. I believe Cain's a figure concocted to personify the transition from nomadic society to agrarian society. That myth, like most, has been twisted by time. Hmm. I want to hear more stories about the Thin Kindred. Thin Bloods rarely exhibit features or powers of their clan, and many can't embrace. Some are even rumored to have reproduced. Many Kindred are terrified that their weak blood heralds the dissipation of every bloodline. Somewhat of an ignorant reactionary response, don't you think? Hmm. I want to disagree with you, but I don't know. As I said, many cultures have the fear of some form of apocalypse. Kindred believed in these stories when they were human, and naturally carried them over into kindred myth. But it doesn't take a supernatural act to cause widespread destruction. Humans and kindred are just as capable of managing their own destruction as a deity. A self-realized Gehenna warrants more vigilance than a god-induced one, don't you agree? Such is my argument. Which so frequently falls on deaf ears. Hmm. Tell me the other signs so I can peel my eyes. What prophecy doesn't have vague apocryphal signs? Let's see. The usual ones cited are the appearance of thin bloods, cane sightings, doom, gloom, that route. Hmm. Your stories are a buffet for my mind. How long did it take to prepare the feast? For three hundred years I've been trying to determine the function of our existence, the kindred's role in the world. I'm not content to attribute it to some act of supernatural biblical vengeance. We exist for a reason. And if it takes another three hundred, I'll figure it out. Any thoughts? Hmm... The reason we exist is because the jellyfish will it so. Why else? Um, antelopes exist. Why not vampires? Can't say I've heard that one before. <laughs> Look at my head nod. I can do this until I fall down. Remember, the truth won't be told in time. It will be told by us. Well, my work here is stolen away into the night. Think I'll do the same. Hmm... If you find the box, please put it in the night deposit slot of the tower. Thank you. Junk. Mm. Oh, excuse me, i uh, starting to doze off there. Oh, I need to get a uh, guard animal of some sort to alert me when folks come in. Hmm, maybe one of them chimps like on that show 8 Detective? <laughs> oh, that monkey always gets his man. Hmm. Send me to the sky as quickly as you can. What? Oh. Yeah, uh, Mr. LaCroix is expecting you. 
For a young guy, he, he sure likes to work late. Me, I spent most of my youth in the entertainment industry. Yeah, I guarded the sets for over six top ten TV shows. Hmm. We will... <laughs> you speak but to yourself. We will converse in the moon's later light. Goodbye. Sir LaCroix, I return to you. Oh, oh, you're over here. The folly of leadership is knowing that no matter what you do, behind your back there's hundreds, certain that their own solution is the sound of one, and that your decision was the byproduct of a whimsical dart toss. I pronounce the blast sentence, and I soak the critical fallout. I make the decisions no one else will. Leadership. I wear the albatross and a bullseye. No, you wear the pants in this family. The city, she adores you. I've had my fill of sycophants. I need adjutants I can trust. Hmm, false. What's my part? Oh, what troubles you, my prince? The blood hunt on Nines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grout will be called. Rodriguez's execution is only a matter of time. I have lit the fuse. If a war ignites, it's my head that will sharpen the pikes for. At least I can rest easy in knowing that you, my most promising attendant, has relieved me of one encumbrance tonight. Do you need assistance bringing the sarcophagus up to my office? Uh, it was stolen, but there were lots of dinosaurs, so I had fun. Stolen? 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 How? Who would... Oh, Gary. Gary, you treasonous maggot. Gary! I should have anticipated your treachery, sewer rat. Me too. Who's Gary? The Nosferatu Primogen. The Nosferatu were responsible for finding out where the sarcophagus was taken after the Dane, and for giving keys to the museum. They were the only ones who knew. It's obvious to me now. My mistake. The Nos... I want him found. I want him... found. The sarcophagus could be... exploited. Causing who knows what catastrophe to this city. If it were to fall into the wrong hands... Hmm. First a dead man, then an old box, now Gary. It's like a scavenger hunt. The Nosferatu lurk in the filth below the streets of Hollywood, but not even I know just where they hide. Hollywood is, unfortunately, lacking in any Camarilla loyalties. Hollywood's baron is an Anarch named Isaac. Isaac's more civil than the Anarchs downtown, but nonetheless he wears his mistrust of me on his sleeve. He may know how to contact the Nosferatu. Find Gary and get him to talk. That sarcophagus could be used against us. Do not come back until you have it. Now, I must announce the blood hunt and bear the brunt of all consequences. Escort him out. I see. Well, that's going to be unfortunate. But, that'll do it for this time, I believe. We've made our way through the museum. The sarcophagus has been stolen yet again, and we go on the hunt for Gary. But the first thing we're going to do is go and see Isaac as soon as we reach Hollywood. Only proper to uh, reveal your intentions when you enter a new vampire's domain. Matter of fact, we may go see Isaac first before we cut this one. Uh, ribbit to Hollywood. I ain't seen you here before. Oop, hello. If I haven't seen you, neither is Isaac. So that's your next stop. That is my next stop. Do you do parties? Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. This town loves me already. Jewelry store at the end of the street, you say? Certainly looks fancy.
Hello. Good evening, Neonate. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? Hmm. Your messenger spun me around and pointed me in your direction. Very courteous of you to stop by. All kindred that enter my domain are expected to introduce themselves. It may seem like an outdated formality, but it serves its purpose. Hmm. Your purpose is a mystery to the lunatic in your office. It gives me the opportunity to personally welcome visitors to my domain. It also helps to establish an understanding in advance, so that there are no unfortunate accidents while they are in town. Hmm... I'll leave you to your age. This one is puzzled. Call me old-fashioned. But this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. Mm. This one is interest is listening. What I want is a simple exchange. Last week I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. You see where I'm going with this? I am your postman. Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? Right! One moment. Because I won't be doing this straight away, so I'm going to make sure I actually take a picture of the password. Uh, I will disappear and reappear, item in hand. Then my questions are answered. Excellent. In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Welcome to Hollywood. I'm home! And so with that, we're going to call this an episode. Welcome to Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be seeing you in the next time. See you then.